Good morning, everyone. It's currently nine o'clock. I have class today. This is one of my longer days. I have to be at school for seven hours today, which I'm not looking forward to, but hopefully it goes by fast. Luckily, I don't start until like the afternoon, so I can kind of take my time this morning. I have been so, so good about my sleep schedule recently. It's the best that it's ever been. I've been naturally waking up at like 7.30 or 8 and then staying in bed till maybe like 8.30 and then getting up slowly, doing all my skincare, brushing my teeth, and then by that time it's 9. And for me, that's really good. I used to sleep in until like 10 or 11 and it just wouldn't make me feel good. But I have just noticed a significant improvement in my mental health ever since getting my sleep schedule on track. And that has a lot to do with my night and morning routines, which I do want to make a video on. But anyways, first thing I want to do this morning is eat breakfast and watch The Bachelor because a new episode came out last night and I don't have the expensive Hulu subscription. So I always have to watch it the day after it comes out and that's today. So I really look forward to Tuesdays every week. Okay, I just ate breakfast and watched The Bachelor. I didn't watch the whole thing. I probably got like 20 or 30 minutes in. I was gonna start getting ready and then I realized I have so much time to just kind of relax before I need to leave. So I'm gonna read for a little bit. I'm currently reading Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm only like six chapters in, but I really like it so far. I think I'm just gonna read one chapter right now and then maybe I'll try to get some work done. for a bit and I made myself a little cup of coffee so now let's do some makeup I did a cute little half up half down hairstyle because I honestly just didn't want to do my bangs and these are second day curls So I thought that this hairstyle would kind of look best to like hide the top half of my hair But now it is time to get dressed. I already have an outfit picked out. So these pieces are from classy network I'm so excited to show you guys these because genuinely they are so nice Also, thank you to classy network for sponsoring today's video So if you didn't know classy network has these things called brammies Which are basically tops with like built-in padding so that you don't have to wear a bra which is just gonna be a lifesaver for school because I hate wearing bras But I also hate that that doesn't give me any coverage. So with classy network I just get the best of both worlds They do a great job of bringing together comfort and style because you get these really cute classy and like timeless pieces That make you feel fashionable, but they're so comfortable every season They look at the trends that are going on and they release limited edition pieces and colors and they're super size inclusive Their sizes range from double xs to triple xl and you can also customize the padding in the top So the sizes for the padding range from small to triple XL to accommodate sizes between A and double G plus cups. So they are really making sure that you get a great fit. They also have like different levels of support that you can choose. So you can choose bandless ones and then there's ones with a soft compression band. So no matter what level of support you want, it's still super comfortable. So first I got this black bodysuit and you can see on the inside here where the cups are and they're sewn in place. You can remove them if you need to, but they're like sewn in their little section so that way they won't like move around they are secure in there and then i also got these cargo pants they make bottoms too and like dresses and stuff which you guys will see in a second but i think that this is the outfit i'm gonna wear today and then i got another top it's hard to show because these are dark colors but it has this cutout right here which is gonna be so cute and i really like the length i have not been liking things that are like super cropped recently so this will keep me warm and provide support those are great for school this one i am so excited about i can wear on a little night out this is a a little black dress with this little I don't know what this neckline is called like a mock neck maybe and then the best part is that it is backless again it's so hard to show right now there you can get a little bit of a better look at it and then you can kind of see where the padding is like sewn in but I'm about to change so if you want to try anything make sure to go check it out the link will be in the description genuinely their pieces are amazing so yeah thank you so much to classy network for sponsoring okay here is the outfit it is so cute so like I said very full coverage literally this is just 
just the most flattering bodysuit. Something else I forgot to mention is that you get the perk of not having like bra lines. So on the back right here, usually you would see like the bra strap and like the little clasp, like the outline of it under the shirt, but you get none of that. And it just looks so seamless and cute. Seriously, like their stuff is such good quality. Very much recommend. I also threw on some gold hoops and this cute little hair clip that matches my outfit like perfectly. I'll probably wear some docks with this. It also matches my school bag perfectly. So the next thing that I need to do before I leave is prepare for my class by doing some readings. So how I like to do them is I go on Canvas, download the document that I need, and then I open it in GoodNotes. And then what I do is put my iPad on night mode, even if it's not nighttime, because it just makes it so much warmer. It's almost like a feel of like a candle or something. I also have like a matte screen protector on, so that kind of helps too. And then I just go through and read it and highlight things. And I've noticed that the fact that I make myself highlight makes me absorb the information a lot easier and kind of forces me to pay attention. I'm at school, I'm about to go in. Like I said, I have a busy day today, so I probably won't be able to update very much. I literally have class for the next seven hours, so it wouldn't be fun updates anyways. I'm just gonna put my mask and my headphones on and walk to class. So right now I just got out of class and I have another one in like a few minutes But I have to move my car and then book it to that class. Hi guys. I just got home. It has been a long day I did get out of class a bit early, but I am exhausted and I'm hungry So I actually ordered these little silicone trays that go in an air fryer So that way when you use your air fryer, you don't have to wash the entire thing every time And that is honestly something that stops me from using it. So I got these little air fryer liners you just wash these and you put them in there and then when you take the food out all you have to wash is this So this will be so nice. I'm actually gonna wash this right now And I'm gonna try this gnocchi that I got from Trader Joe's I've had it in my freezer for a little bit and I just haven't wanted to make it because Using the air fryer can sometimes be a hassle. When I'm hungry like I don't want to do any work I just want to eat so I need to get better about realizing like okay Maybe I'm starting to get slightly hungry. I should go make myself something now So when I'm actually hungry. I can just eat anyways I'm gonna wash this and pop those in the air fryer my dinner smoke alarm did go off three times while i was making it did some dishes i took a shower i am almost ready for bed i just need to do my skincare and brush my teeth but before i do that i wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys for a bit because i kind of feel like i haven't gotten to do that in my recent videos i've been trying to like not talk as much in my videos about just like random stuff to kind of keep the video on track and not have like too many parts where i'm just like rambling or something but since i've been doing that i've noticed that it makes me feel a little bit more disconnected from you guys which I obviously don't like and I don't know I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about how I've been feeling recently because I don't want you to watch my videos and just see like me being productive all the time and Thinking that that's like just what my day-to-day -day life looks like or you know, whatever I think I talked about this in my last video a little bit That one was a bit more realistic because I kind of showed like my harder days not even harder It was just like a more stressful like chaotic day But I have just been not feeling like myself ever since school started because I feel like I just have a lot on my plate right now. I've just been so overwhelmed and burnt out and I've been so busy recently that it's taken a toll on like my creativity. Like I missed an upload a couple weeks ago, which I was not proud of. But yeah, I don't know. I just have a lot going on right now. I had to leave town kind of last minute last week and then tomorrow I actually have to go out of town again because I have some appointments in my hometown and I haven't been getting a lot of free time. Every day I feel like has just been jam-packed recently and I am so ready to just like not be moving moving around and just be able to spend some time here, get done some things that like aren't my top priority right now, but I still wanna do like cleaning my room. I wanna clean my room. I wanna like vacuum the floors. I wanna clean the bathroom, like all that kind of stuff, but I just don't have time. I hope the camera's not shaking right now. Sorry about that if it is, but yeah, those things have just been kind of put on the back burner for a bit. Even just outside of school, there's just a lot going on right now and it's all good things, but things that take time and things that I'm grateful that are happening, but I'm just tired. <laughs> That's it, I'm literally just 
just tired. I'm also kind of just like working on a bunch of stuff for this big life change that I keep talking about in my videos. If you haven't noticed that I'm purposely being very vague about, the reason why I want to keep it private is just because I don't know for a fact if it's happening yet. I'm like 99% sure, but on the off chance that it can't happen, I don't want to just like tell you guys and then be like, oh, just kidding. Like this actually isn't going to happen anymore. But I can tell you that you guys will find out in April if it is happening. And the second I get that confirmation, I will sit down and make a video about it and just like explain everything. My brain just feels so jumbled right now. I feel like I didn't even say a bunch of things that I wanted to, but I hope this didn't just come across as like pointless rambling, even though it kind of was, but I hope someone out there can relate. Tell me in the comments how you're feeling right now. Let me know if you're feeling the same way. If you're not and you're doing good, tell me that too. I'm happy for you. Leave me a comment because I want to know how you guys are. Respond to someone else in the comments if you want, make a friend. And I just want to say thank you for those of you who are listening to this and actually care because I tend to not want to talk about myself and my personal life in my videos because I feel like nobody cares and they're just gonna be like uh you talk too much I'm gonna skip this you know because I've literally gotten so many comments before saying that I talk too much and I'm like this is like my channel I don't know what else to do on here like just sit here and do a bunch of montages I don't know okay my camera just cut me off because I ran out of storage so I'll take that as my cue to wrap it up but overall thank you all for being here if you're still watching I truly appreciate it so much. Thank you for bearing with me during this weird creative burnout that I'm going through. I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys like this video. Also, make sure to subscribe. I feel so cringe every time that I tell you guys to subscribe, but seriously, it would mean a lot to me. I have so much fun stuff coming up and I'm so excited for when I am finally able to share it with you guys. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.